Really nice um, concrete driveway. You can fit lots of cars. You have a two and a half car garage. The roof was done in 2016 as well. And every uh, window in the house is vinyl. Those are all done as well. Okay, let me take you inside now. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. Let me get in, take my shoes off. And I'll give you guys a better look. Okay, so here's your front entrance. Hi. So there's a couple stairs. So as soon as you walk in, there's a couple stairs and that gets to your kitchen, your formal dining room. And then there's another stairwell that gets to your bedroom area. So I'll take you through the main floor first. So you're gonna walk through here. This little door that is slightly open, that goes to your basement, your lower level. Okay, this is another, this is just a nice living room. Big patio doors, okay. Really cool all wood built in, you have a fireplace. Okay, really nice warm, cozy space, extra space. You can use it to a kid's room since you do have another formal living room upstairs. They did really nice, there's beautiful hardwoods. All the wood trim is all real wood. And then again, you get a really nice view of your lake. And you can just walk out this patio door and be right outside. If you walk down this hall, you're gonna have a bathroom. There are two full bathrooms and one half bath in this house. This is um, a half bath. And then that door that we're gonna go walk into is the garage. So here is your one of three bathrooms. Here, I do have to open this door. You're gonna get into your garage. I'm going to head upstairs first, and then we'll go see the basement. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four. You get five steps till you get up here. And I'm gonna kind of go in the corner and give you guys a really slow-mo view of the kitchen. And then this goes into formal dining room. You could turn this into another living room if you wanted. Okay, so tons of options. You can really make this the family hangout if you wanted it to be, especially with that view of the lake. You do have two sinks. You have a double sink there and then a single sink right here. Okay. And if I turn it around, I'm not sure if you guys saw this with the cutest little Eden and it even matches the countertops match, I love it. I will show you the guest bathroom on the second floor. Okay, this is a full bathroom. Lots of closet space in there. I won't open it because I'm obviously trying to minimize the amount of stuff I touch. We did a really nice glass shower. Okay, and you got a huge vanity with lots of storage. So if you're a big family, you got lots of room. Here you're kind of getting into the master area. This is, and that automatic light. This is another, it's not technically, we're not technically calling this a bedroom because there is no door, right? You can see that there's no, it is a, there's no door. But this is, they have it set up as another bed. It's a really cool view from your master. It's a really big master bedroom. Got beautiful floors here as well. You can see, got a big um, closet there. And of course that deck, you just go out the patio door and you see, and you're right out at that deck that I pointed out and obviously get a really cool view of the lake. gonna 
shove this little door open and you're gonna see the lower level, okay? Okay, so this is just another extra storage area, part of the basement. They have fridges down here, another closet. This door um, is the one that goes outside. So you open up that door and you walk up a little stairwell to get to the, the outside, right? And then you'll see here that ductwork. Um, it, the furnace is under there, which was done in 2016. They did move it, so it's been pushed back underneath underneath that little crawl space area that I'm, that I'm showing you right now. So it would, so the furnace wouldn't be right in the middle of the basement, which is genius. I love when people do that. I'm just going to come back on here. Thank you very much for watching. This like horizontal way is really weird. Let me know if you like the horizontal way. Um, again, I just did two, three, three, five passing. <laughs> Chelsea Cooper, you're trying to call me. <laughs> um, Passingham Drive here in Sarnia, not too far from Brights Grove. It is a really, really beautiful house. Just listed under um, a million one. It's one nine nine five. Your taxes are just under 10,000. Um, property size, like I said, you have about 84 um foot of frontage of lakefront and then your lot is 244 feet deep okay i think that's everything thanks for tuning in guys and i think john van claveren is right behind me in wyoming uh, so make sure to check out his live video all right thank you everybody